The drone propeller cut me. Oh, it kind of hurts. Started as one person packing the car, um, came three pretty quickly. But oh, good morning. Welcome to Baranold again, uh, second day. We drive off to Manga National Park just later today. It's, uh, it rained last night, weirdly, in the outback. So you can see there's still some droplets and puddles. And it looks even more mean where we're going. Like there's, I think, I saw, I looked at the radar, there's like a <clears throat> pretty intense uh, system coming through. Okay, parents are still going through it, but the best part of it all is my drone's working now. So yesterday when I first flew it on the evening shots, I was using my phone and it went nowhere. But now it's all working again. We're gonna get some superb shots of the outback today. I hope. We'll see what there is, you know. Let's get going. Before we get going, Dad wanted all of you to see how much better at pool he is. So here's a collection of his highlights from last night's game at the RSL Club. Yeah, well, let's just confirm this head-to-head -head record, which is fairly emphatically in Ding's favour because it's 12 wins to three for Ronnie. Uh, but John and Stephen, it's all about today. Leaving Barrow Nord now, we've uh, filled up the car, about 45 litres in the car, uh, and then we've got our trusty old red jerry can that's in a plastic bag, like Asians do put everything in plastic bags. Um, we put another 20 litres in that because we have about a 400k stretch where we have no fuel stops, so if we did run out of fuel, we'll be front page news. Anyway, off to Mongo, that is the most annoying vlogger in the world. Guy does not stop assaulting me, <laughs> disturbing me, and he doesn't know when to turn right. You're supposed to turn right, you idiot. There's a car behind us. Oh my. <sighs> so at the mile roll turn left. Yeah. Focus on driving. <laughs> Welcome to Mungo National Park. I think we're the only people here. Dad is having a struggle parking. Uh, but two days ago, the lady just said it was 50 degrees Celsius. That's 120 Fahrenheit. But that's like boiling. She said the air conditioning didn't even work. Like it, you could turn it on, but it wouldn't even be doing anything. Anyway, Mungo is beautiful. It's overcast, which is a bit sad because there is a sunset to it and it's really pretty and I don't think we'll be able to see it but our lodge is fantastic look at this look how big it is holy where's the look how I get my own room look at this towels and soap and everything and, and the best part of it all dun oh how do you open this there we go there's an airstrip I can watch planes take off. So this is fantastic. It is beautiful here. I hear the beat of a bad drum. Feel my feet have been outrun. Walking in a sketchy way Eyes Can see the mind of a blind one Take a number that just won Your train of thought arrived too late 
God, you're cute. You're a girl. Hello, you're a girl. Hey, this is the first girl that's kissed me in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you are ugly. Anyway, welcome to Mongo National Park. We're here. Um, behind me is the famous Walls of China, even though China is many, many, many thousands of miles away. Um, yeah, we just found some kangaroos. They just hopped up, probably looking for food. Literally, the only people in this park are us and these kangas. We are gonna go towards the walls of China. There's like a little boardwalk we can take. Um, and then we're gonna walk up there. Unfortunately, to go onto the, 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 like the formation, you need to be with a ranger or a tour. So if you do come here alone, you do need to organize that. There is a sunset tour run out of the Mungo Lodge where we're staying this evening. Um, they, they organize a tour to take you up there. And it's called the sunset tour, but yeah, I don't think there's much of a sunset tonight. But you know, the kangaroos are pretty cool. They're good fun. Dad's, uh, Dad thinks about having a picnic with them. Mum is just trying to update her WeChat profile picture. You see? This is Asian Tourist 101. I got lost in the backdrop of my holiday with you. If you do walk this boardwalk, do, do wear walking shoes and don't come barefoot because there is a lot of kangaroo poo scattered on this walk. So yeah, that's uh, Walls of China for you. Um, the other boardwalk over there doesn't have as great as a view, but it does have no barrier, which is good uh, if you want to take good photos. Um, ow, freaking! As part of preservation and you know, ongoing efforts to keep this place as beautiful as it is. Do not veer off the boardwalk if you do come here because we don't want to lose this precious fauna and flora. Um, this place has uh, got some great history here and we don't want to ever ru ruin that and there's a lot of culture, Abor Aboriginal Indigenous culture that we just don't want to touch. So yeah, you guys, if you do come, just please stay on the boardwalk. Um, and do pay your park fees because every dollar that you pay to the park they can use uh, to you know preserve these boardwalks so we can come visit such a beautiful place and that goes for every national park in the world look up them because they'll look after you when you get here oh yeah we're gonna do that um 70k tour around the park just to, uh, just to you know check it out I got Uh, we have a problem with the uh, with the uh, car. Uh, status update. How you, how you go, yeah. Dad, I'm doing a vlog. Uh, uh, we came across some stranded fellow travellers. Their car battery popped out. Something something in their battery did wasn't pop wasn't right. Anyway, we helped them fix them. Uh, they're at the lodge tonight, so we'll see them at dinner. Dad, please don't crash into the tree. They they were nice people. I think they're tourists from Europe. If they don't show up to the lodge for dinner, we know where they are. We're, we're good mechanics. We're a good man. We are good people. We're a good team. This one isn't. She is a, <laughs> she is a criminal. <laughs> That is day two of our 
road trip to the outback where we're having our fantastic evening in Mongo National Park. Dinner is in about 15 minutes. I don't know what dad is doing. Uh, we had a great day today. Uh, quite a bit of driving uh, and seeing some pretty cool na natural landscape. This is the this is the Australian way, you know, on on the veranda with your beer and enjoying a landscape of just trees and dirt. Airport. And an airport. airport. Yeah, there's an airport right there. Actually, I think we're, our belly's going to be big when we get back. All this beer and steak and chips and mash feels. It's like a drum. I got a